NSL's national security letters with respect to obtaining information, telecommunications, and otherwise? The use of national security letters to yeah, obtain so information? The question, the question was about the use of national security letters, uh, the authority which was expanded under the Patriot Act. Chris, do you want to talk about NSL? As the, the non-lawyer, I can, I can tell you a little bit. So the, the NSLs, were NSLs were expanded under the Patriot Act to uh, allow the government to go to telecommunications companies and obtain certain kinds of customer records. And there's been significant debate about what the government can get with an NSL to, say, an internet provider. So there was a, a memo written by the Office of Legal Counsel, which is sort of the, the internal lawyer within DOJ, that, set, that specified what the FBI could and couldn't ask for um, with an NSL. And the, the issue that there's considerable debate around is whether they can ask for transaction records from an internet provider, which is basically who you've emailed who you've emailed and when you've emailed them. Um, companies generally, the, the NSLs that are sent are usually gagged, are usually sealed, so companies are prohibited from disclosing uh, that they've received them. There have been a couple cases where companies have fought uh, to try and notify their, their users. Um, but what we can talk about, what companies are able to talk about, even if they cannot comment on the NSLs they've received, companies can comment hypothetically about what they would hand over if they received an NSL. And so Facebook is the only company that I know of that has gone on record to say that if they receive an NSL, they will not hand over communications metadata. They will just hand over your name and when you Google, Microsoft, Yahoo, the rest still will not come to this. And I think that they owe us an explanation. The, the statute is poorly worded. And so they can get call records, call billing records from telephone companies. But the statute doesn't really go into whether they can get that kind of information from internet companies or the, the analogous inf information. So DOJ would like to change the statute. In any case, um, we need more transparency. There are plenty of places where companies can tell us about the kinds of requests they receive or at least what they would hand over. Skype is another fantastic example of a company who's been extremely evasive recently in describing their wide capabilities. There was, a, there was also a great story in the Wall Street Journal about two weeks ago um, about an existing NSL and, and some analysis uh, about who that company may be. Uh, uh, and I would highly, there's great data in that story as well. 